A lot of people jump into relationships, jump into marriages, thinking that if they get the ring, if they get the baby, if they walk down the aisle, then somehow, some way, that all the struggle and the, and the, the fighting will somehow stop. And oftentimes they get a rude awakening, especially when you have the baby involved. And so today I wanna to remind each and every one of you that struggle is a choice. That ease, flow, surrender is also a choice. It's harder to choose something different when you're blaming your current partner. It's harder to, to decide that you're gonna do something different about your life when you think that you are a victim to it, that you're a victim to that person. If my partner would just say it differently, if they would just be with me different, if they would just love me more, if they would hug me more, if they would appreciate me more, if they would take me out more, then we would have fill in the blank. And I'm telling you without a shadow of a doubt, and I'm saying this not from my high horse, I'm not saying this from I'm better than you, I'm saying it from I've been there. Nothing will really truly shift until you make the decision that you're co-creating it. Nothing will truly shift until you, until you actually take a real look at how you've been addicted to drama and victimhood. How you've been holding on to that thing they said at the beginning of the relationship. That thing they did when they didn't understand your boundaries. That thing they did accidentally that hurt you or the thing that they did that was really messed up. But life has continued. You can choose to be a victim. You can choose to hold on. You can choose. But what is it costing you? At what cost? You get to be right? Does that even feel good? Sometimes we can be so righteous about stuff that we don't un understand how, how it's actually hurting us. It's not helping. It's not helping you to be right and righteous. It's not serving you or your partner to believe stuff about them, right? To, to make up stories or to embellish, right? Because what we do as, as humans is we'll, we'll future cash. We'll look and we'll say, well, if this happened this way, then... <laughs> Say what's up. This is Mr. Kingston. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me my baby a kiss. Give my daddy. Give my daddy. Give my daddy. Give my daddy. Okay, let me finish this video and here I come. Hear me. We will do this thing where we'll, we'll go deep into the future and make up stories about what the future is going to be based on what's currently happening and based on what happened. Really, most of the time, it's just going into the past, replaying it, recycling it, recycling it, reviewing it so that you continuously feel like a victim. And at some point, there's no more victims, it's just volunteers. You get to have boundaries, yes. You get to uh, shift how things work in the relationship. There gets to be consequences, yes. And if you really love the person, if you really want it to work, your job is to clean and clear as much of your stuff out of the way so that they're getting an adult. A lot of times it's just our adaptive child. It's the wounded little nine-year-old that's showing up, trying to make sure you don't ever get hurt again. But in trying not to get hurt, you end up making it worse for yourself and your partner. Because that wounded nine-year-old is not who you are, it's who you became. That wounded nine-year-old is a strategy. And that strategy is no longer necessary. But you don't know how to do anything else because you've been doing it for so long. This is why I say you can't disown that which you have never owned. You can't let it go if you're not willing to own it. Type the word me too below. Because I was super dramatic. I was doing it in a martyr way. I, I was being such a nice guy and a, and a good boy and I'd do more dishes and more laundry and more of this to prove that it was her, it was her fault. See, look how good of a, a person I am. But all of that still had this tone, this, this film of martyrdom and uh, victim. And if, if I was a victim, then who was the villain? She had to be the villain as long as I was playing the victim. Type me too in the comments right now. Share this message with your partner, especially if you have one. And if not, just with a friend who may be struggling with something in relationship. For those of you who are new to, to the vibe, new to the tribe, if you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're listening to this on you know, one of the podcasts, I uh, ask that you leave a review about my podcast, about this thing. You know, I get hit with inspiration and oftentimes I'll just jump in and say, you know what, I'm going now. And I hope it serves. I hope you understand how much I, like with or without any money involved, I would do this. I've been doing it for almost 20 years, y'all. 20 years in this space. Cause I love it. Cause I love humans. And I love getting messages from you all about how much it's helped you. Peace and blessings, y'all. Love you so much. See you on the other side.